everybody. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever and whenever you're joining us from. Welcome to another episode of the Coach's Corner. Woohoo! All right. Today we have a very special guest, and I say that every time we have a guest because they're all very special <laughs> guests. <laughs> but uh, before we jump into that, uh, I definitely want to put it out there that if you don't know about Iris Vision, and you want to get more information, please head over to our website at irisvision.com, or you could always call in to 855-207-6665, press one to speak to one of our awesome sales reps, and they'll be able to answer any question you have. Um, if you're looking to maybe purchase an Iris Vision, they'll also be able to guide you um, towards whichever product is best for you. Because as you all know, we have Iris Vision Live and Iris Vision Inspire now. So we have two awesome products. Um, they'll be able to kind of assess which one works best for you. And um, then you'll get started and maybe you'll be on an episode of Coach's Corner with me. <laughs> so again, that phone number is 855 207-6665. If you have any questions, if you're already a current customer, same phone number to call into customer support. If you're having any kind of questions or you need a little refresher on something, our awesome customer support reps are always there to help. So 855-207-6665 or irisvision.com. Okay, so today, we have a very special guest, two very special guests. We have Charlie Doman and Jamie. Um, Jamie is the owner of Mojo's. Uh, Jamie, tell us a little bit more about Mojo's. Uh, Mojo's is a Cajun and Caribbean cuisine restaurant. We do all sorts of New Orleans flair. We Ooh. have a huge Mardi Gras party coming up. And we just love our chef, Charlie. Awesome. Awesome. So Charlie came to Iris Vision a few years ago. He was my client and I showed him how to use his Iris Vision. And Charlie, tell us a little bit of, <clears throat> excuse me, about your sight loss and your journey as a partially sighted person and how you came to find Iris Vision. I, uh, I had two strokes and it took my central of vision left me with a little bit of peripherals. I see really foggy. There's uh, spots where I see nothing, like nothing. And people ask me, what do you mean nothing? I'm like, nothing is a really, it's a real thing. There's nothing there. It, it's so weird. Um, shortly after I got the diagnosis of uh, Chef Ryan, our executive chef, he called me up and, you know, blah, blah, blah. We had a conversation. And he's like, just come in. Let's see what you can do. And with that, I was also going to the Chicago Lighthouse. And then at one of my appointments down there, I seen these goggles. They, they put them on me and they were the iris vision. And I could see like a million times better. I mean, I was still, there was still that vision loss, mm -hmm. but it wasn't as broad of a spectrum. It like, like really took it down. So I was able to identify things. Like now I can't identify anything or like I can't tell who's in a room unless I'm like, <laughs> like this, you know, yes. <laughs> or I hear their voice, or sometimes they have a distinct smell or a walk or something. Sure. He's but, um, true. He smells us. Yeah. <laughs> <That's so funny. laughs> Do I stink? Do I stink? <laughs> <laughs> and it, it's so true. As partially sighted people, we do kind of pick up these little things that maybe most people don't really realize. But like you said, the way someone walks, their shape, you know, the shape of their body definitely yeah. like their smell those type of things because you know we can't see detail anymore and in regard to that nothingness I know exactly what you mean because even right now I'm looking straight at my computer screen but I see nothing so <laughs> I understand what it's, you're it's saying not there, yeah. yeah right and so how did iris vision change your life like how you know how do you use it on a daily basis how, and most importantly how do you use your Iris Vision Live at work. It it gave me my independence back. I was able to do my own banking again. Um, 
go to the movies with my nieces and nephews. Uh, here at work, I was able to, to to read the spices. We have over 100 different types of spices here because we make everything fresh. So looking at those itty bitty letters, I literally have to get this close. And and now I can just do it with these just like everybody else. Or when uh, when the front of the house puts the tickets in, the tickets come in in the back, you know, so it tells us what we need to make. Well, I can't see that. So with the iris vision, I'm able to see that. I'm able to read it. I'm able to call out what I need from the rest of the guys on the line. I'm able to, you know, lift them up on my forehead like a pair of sunglasses and put the plate together, put it in the window, re put it back down, read the ticket again, make sure everything's there where it's supposed to be and then serve that table their food. That's awesome. Yeah. And, yeah. Amy, how was it for you when, when you saw Charlie wearing his iris vision at work, like, you know, what kind of impact did that make on you? Well, I mean, Charlie is just amazing from the get-go. And then when he lost his sight, it was super sad because he was scared he wasn't going to be able to work. But then we convinced him, well, he wanted to still work, but he didn't, he thought he was going to be some sort of burden on us. And then we convinced him he was not Burden on us. <laughs> and he learned how to do everything. Uh, for he was doing it for two years. Yeah. For the iris vision, yeah. and then he had heard about you guys in his in his wine school, and so we all pitched in and got it for him. And it just oh. it did it made it so easier. He was yeah. so. He, I mean, Charlie. He was determined, so he was going to do it regardless. And now all of a sudden. He just got his vision back because he could read the tickets. And I mean, that was impossible no matter what. He yeah. couldn't, someone else had to do it with him. And he just, he was so excited. I'll never forget. It was like the third day you had them. Yeah. And you're like, oh my God. Mama Mojo, I, I can take pictures yeah. of the <laughs> recipes and they can be over here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nice. I can be here while I'm doing it here. And it was just, it was really, it was really cool. He's just so happy. Mm -hmm. That was, that was priceless to us. Yes. That's awesome. And just the words that you said um, earlier, they, they blow my mind because that's amazing. Um, what you guys did as a team there at Mojo's, because you could see that, you know, obviously you guys are very family oriented. They're very, team oriented because you said we all pitched in and helped him get this device and that is amazing that yeah, is such a cool thing. What, yeah. right what a blessing how awesome to be able to be in a place like like mojos and um you know how help, help someone like charlie i love the fact that you're saying he was determined and charlie you definitely are determined motivated person and that's so important for others to see and know too maybe there's someone out there who is just experiencing sight loss and i say this in most of my episodes because it's it's true it's true there's people out there who are just coming into sight loss and yeah, they're I went through know, a thing they don't know what to do right yeah yeah right. i had a lot of issues yeah i mean seeing for 43 years of my life and then all of a sudden nothing because in the beginning I, I I was totally blacked out. Like I had nothing, nothing, no light. It, and then it turned into being able to see like white and dark. And then it just manifested into this blurriness. It, it, it was it was very uh, mind blowing. To yeah. At least. <laughs> you know, when he got in those goggles, it wasn't really to help at work because he was doing right. honestly amazing. It, but. There was a day where he told Chef Ryan and I, he just was in tears because he couldn't see his niece and nephew. Oh. And I mean, he was just telling us what it was like. I can't watch a TV show, but I mean, it was the part when you said you couldn't see your family. It had us in tears. And oh. then that's when it Chef Ryan and I went to the staff and we're like, okay, guys, <laughs> <we're gonna> do this. <laughs> you know, because I couldn't, I couldn't imagine. Oh, Charlie. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Mm. Well, you know, it's it's really awesome um, what you guys did because 
it's it is it's emotional for those of us who can't see to be able to actually see again um and charlie like you're saying you spend most of your life seeing and then you couldn't see and then you come across iris vision and oh my gosh there's the world yeah. again and to have yeah. um, people around you like that to help you on your journey that way oh, not, not just for even better you said, <laughs> yeah not like you said jamie not just for working but for in general for life and you help this person you help your friend you know with the gift of sight and that's such an amazing thing to do um and not only did you help him but i understand you guys did something even bigger even more special can you tell us about that cool yeah pies for eyes yeah we're on camera pies for eyes they're throwing, yes. they're throwing babies at us Oh, yeah. <laughs> you guys did a fun no, no, no. This, this is my chef Ryan. We're, we're live on TV. Oh, hi. This is my chef Ryan. What's up? He's been no, like what? a mentor toward me in the kitchen, like learning how to cut and chop and awesome. You know, That's awesome, Chef Ryan. And chickens and yeah, he teaches <laughs> big hands and put them in my little hands with sharp tools. And we'd go to work on on food. <laughs> he can fit his entire your entire head, his hand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have king cake babies now because uh, we're making king cakes for our, oh, okay. babies, for little babies that go on the cake. Right. <laughs> so tell us about pies for eyes. Tell us how oh. that came about and what you guys did because I know that you guys got a little bit of media coverage over that as well. So um, yes. just for those of you watching out there, we will be sharing the link to uh, the Pies for Eyes event so that you guys can get caught up with it too. But tell us about it. I'd rather hear it firsthand from you. My uh, my Iris Vision goggles came up missing one day after an event. They, somebody picked them up and took them. Yes. And uh, so Mama Mojo was just like, don't worry, I'll just buy you another pair you need them for work, blah, blah, blah. Don't No, no worries. And I'm like, no, I'm not comfortable with that. I'll like get a second job. And she's like, well, you just can work overtime here. You're not getting a second job. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, she called me and she's like, we can do a fundraiser, you know? So we went through a bunch of types of different fundraisers and her and Chef Ryan sat down, came together and we came up with the key line pies. So, okay. And then I was like, well, hey, if we're going to sell these pies, you think maybe we can make some extra pies and maybe find some blind child in the local community here and maybe we can donate one to them well we were selling them so fast everybody got behind the whole community got behind charlie trying to replace these goggles they were so mad they got stolen and when we were selling yeah. them so fast he's i mean that was the question what are we going to do with all the extra money right and charlie, one number so we thought we'd have enough for one pair and we end up having enough for three pairs. Three pairs. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah. awesome. Yeah. And then they uh people were donating pies. They wanted us to to just donate them to the local first responders in the area. So we spent a whole day doing that, like 13 hour day, just oh dropping off pies. We went from making like 150 to over 350 pies. Wow. It, oh yeah. And I, our kitchen isn't that big. They're like our office space, especially during service. So mm -hmm. we had a couple of our local restaurants here. They lent us their oven space throughout the day so that we can help make more pies. Because yeah, other demand, yeah. insane running down the street to all the other different restaurants using their their ovens with all these pies. You know, wow. I hope I hope you guys caught that on on video somehow because that would be cool. I'm sure there's a video somewhere. <laughs> if you go, um, if you go on my in on Mojo's Instagram, you can find the videos really easy for the whole journey of the pie making. <laughs> oh and God. us running around with pies, us delivering the pies. Yeah. It was so it was, it was so much fun. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, a lot of fun. I never thought that my life would take this this turn like this. Like mm -hmm. I, I still remember that day thinking, what am I gonna do with my life? The only thing I know how to do is be a chef, you know, like, and here I am now, like wow, I'm 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 doing it. You are doing it for so many other people. Yes. So then we found the children finally. And we uh we did the donation January 9th, just last month. 
-hmm. and they were just raving they were so happy at, at being able to see you know a couple of them for the very first time right so that uh that uh jordan just did an amazing yeah. job if that you could see it on our facebook page okay uh, the link on the website we went national we, abc national mm -hmm. wow well these That's kids awesome. one of the little girl she had never seen it all her yeah. entire life that was her first time seeing i i couldn't i cried the whole time <laughs> so charlie with charlie you were you were you were professional I, you kept I, it I, together I, most I, of it. <laughs> it was it was an honor it was fun i i did the coaching session for yeah. um that event and it was really cool to be able to be a part of that too and you know have all the the kids put it on and like you said charlie you know some of them were seeing for the first time and um i was yeah. wishing that i was actually there <laughs> I, I was hoping you would have been able to make it yeah that would have been so have been much fun very cool that would have been very cool if i could have actually been there um because i could just tell even from being on camera and being remote i could tell that there was a lot of really great energy and awesome uh memories being made so those that's family really were cool. so sweet so how about this myrna hmm. Uh, we've decided we're going to do another Pies for Eyes. Woohoo! <laughs> well, the community kind of was demanding it. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. we want to help. So, awesome. I was like, get your get your limes, Charlie. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> yeah, that's two million limes. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Wow. <laughs> but, yeah, so we're going to be doing that May. Yeah, the week of Mother's Day. That way people can get them for, because that's mm -hmm. usually when we come out with them over the years. Okay. So that way they can get them for their moms. Nice. Right. Very cool. And oh my gosh, with um, all this uh, attention you guys are getting with the media and everything, what if people start requesting pies like outside of your area? <laughs> oh, I, I, I kind of threw that out there. Like, we're going to have to make like a million pies. But I mean, <laughs> I tell them we're we're small, we're a little place. So I mean, we can only do what we can do. But they were really great about it last time. Yeah. We were only doing it over the weekend, mm -hmm. and then people are still trying to buy them. Like we're out of we're out of limes. We're just out of everything. Yeah. So wow. like we're gonna have yeah. to stop at some point. Even months later, people were calling because we pies. still had like over a hundred pies that we had to deliver to the first responders. Oh my and god. We made those later in the week, but everyone was like, really, people are, if you're from here and you know, I mean, it's not a big restaurant. So mm -hmm. they were patient about us getting them the pies as soon as we had more product coming. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's cool. Well, Mojo's is amazing, Jamie, for doing this, not only for, like I said, your team member, but, you know, some kids out in the community who live in a world where they can't see and all of a sudden now they can see you guys help with that. And that is so huge. That's amazing. These kids' lives are going to be changed because of what you guys did. And that, that is just priceless. That's I'm, awesome. I'm honored to be part of the Mojo's family. <laughs> yes. I'm like, man, Mojo's is awesome. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so if well, actually the community was so amazing i just it just started with a post i was trying to see who stole your glasses so i put it out there if anyone had seen them because they probably didn't realize what they were right thought they would be our headset or something and if they realized what they were they would i think i thought they would return them no one ever did yeah no so They're someone's gonna have to that karma out there but <laughs> but i did but get the, the iris vision inspire so that, i know you did that get an upgrade fun. yes I'm, and then I'm you got three pairs for the kids yeah. so I ended up great but everybody was messaging me from doing that wanting to give money to buy him a new pair but Charlie wouldn't have it so the pies for eyes was a way to work around his pride <laughs> <laughs> there you go well that's awesome. everybody showed up I mean everybody showed up yeah we had people volunteering to help make the pies well, oh, wow. that have worked here yeah. before. Yeah. Came in. My, my family, Mama Mojo, her family. Nice here. Yeah. Well, um, I tell you what, if I'm when I'm ever in that area, I'm definitely going to go to Mojo's for sure. sure. So tell tell us where we could find you. 
uh, it, uh, downtown Plainfield on Illinois. Blackboard Street. Oh, in Illinois. In Illinois. I keep forgetting. <laughs> that we're not local right now. Worldwide. <laughs> are, are you, so you guys all over the world, world, right, Myrna? What's that? The Irish Vision is all over the world or just U.S. based? We're global. Our company is U.S. U.S. based, but I do have... I do have clients all over the world. I literally was just working with some clients in Hungary just before jumping on with you guys. Oh, wow. Hungary? Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So if you're in the U.S. <laughs> <laughs> and right. stumble into Chicago, go about 45 minutes south-ish and hit Plainfield and we're right down here. Plainfield, Illinois. All right. We're in the historic district, if that helps. Oh, in the historic district. Okay. Yeah. Very cool. Well, thank you guys so much for sitting oh, you're with welcome, Marla. Thank you. I love your story. And I'm looking forward to the next Pies for Eyes fundraising event. Yeah, so are and we. Uh, I'll be excited to do the coaching for that one too. <laughs> maybe I'll, I'll even let I'll even give you a heads up if you come help make us pies. Yeah. Oh, you right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. Well, thank you so much. Um, again, for those of you watching, if you have any questions, if you have any comments, anything, put the um, comments down below. Uh, we'll definitely be able to get back with you. If you have questions for Charlie or Mama Mojo, please put those below as well. Um, if you're interested in being a part of the Coach's Corner, let us know. Send in your inquiries to tell us, T-E-L-L-U-S, at irisvision.com. And we'll see if we can get you on an episode as well. All right, Charlie, I'm so glad that you're doing great with your Iris Vision. Jamie, Mama Thank Mojo, you, love you. Thank you so much for everything that you do for the community and for raising blindness awareness. It's amazing. And by the way, this is Blindness Awareness Month. So, um, blindness ah! Awareness Month. Look at that. <laughs> so, thank you guys so much. And I look forward to chatting with you again soon. For sure, Myrna. We'll talk to you thank soon. You. All right. Thanks. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>